Hey everybody, it's Paul Yokobetis from Cary State Planning back with another video as part of our 366 video challenge for 2020. And today I wanted to talk about sharing your documents after they are signed. So I get a question pretty much every time we have a signing meeting is who should I share this with? Or, you know, should I send a copy to my kids? Or, you know, what's the, uh, you know, traditional method with uh, documents and sharing and who should get them and that kind of thing. The answer is there's no right answer. You can share them with whoever you want. You know, the issue becomes, are you sharing too much information about how these people may be uh, benefiting from your plan as beneficiaries? Uh, and then in the event that you change any of the documents in the future, we just have to make sure that any versions that are still out there are you know, revoked or shredded or thrown away uh, to make sure that we don't have inconsistent versions of the same document floating around. So you can share them with whoever you want. Certainly the best standard is to keep them in a safe, dry place and make sure that the people known or named in the documents know where the documents can be found should something happen to you and uh, know how they're named. So if they're an executor, know what that means and that kind of thing, um, rather than physically sharing the documents with them. Obviously it's up to you though, there's no right answer. Um, there's just obviously some pros and cons either way. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Look out for more videos the rest of this week. You can click the link below to get on our calendar to discuss how estate planning should look for you. And um, otherwise, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box. Paul from Carrier Estate Planning.